moment could be happening this evening. Absolutely. You know, we're looking forward to it. I hope the girls uh, come out with the same intensity they did the other night at Kabul. It didn't come out well at Kabul, but you know what? They played some of their best volleyball, I thought. Yes, it was a very close spot game. Their only conference loss of the season. With the win tonight, they guarantee themselves second place and also would break Coach Emily Pettit's Coach Emily Petty's record from when she was in high school of the most wins in a season for Ava Volleyball. How neat is that? Absolutely. You know, I'm sure she's just as excited as the girls are, and I anticipate they'll come out fired up tonight. This is going to be a barn burner here tonight, Tyler. I mean, this this team's a good Liberty Ball team, and, uh, you know, they went three with Kabul, so, uh, you know, I anticipate a very good game tonight. You're listening to it on Cos Radio. You're also watching streaming live at tdhmedia.net. They've got the camera courtside here this evening, so you can see all the action. We will get this one started next between Ava and Liberty. There's a big sale underway at Long Dollar Furniture and Appliance. We're selling our living room, dining room, and bedroom furniture with a 15% discount now through the end of October. While you're getting a great deal on furniture, check out our lamps sitting on top of a sewing machine, coffee grinder, ice cream maker, and a ringer washer. And Long Dollar sells pictures pillows, towels, bedding, and even floral items. That's Long Dollar Furniture and Appliance in the Barn Shopping Center in Ava. Getting ready to get this one started here, and our volleyball seniors who were recognized before the game, Sydney Snelson, Olivia Herford, Claire Fawcett, Taylor Ernst, Emily Keyes, and Haley Herrera. And uh, real foundation builders here for the future of Ava Volleyball, the work they've done their last few years, and on the first tonight of something historical, perhaps. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, watching this team play four years ago, Tyler, you definitely wouldn't think that they would be where they're at this year. I mean, they, they kind of started off to a rough start their freshman year, but, man, has this team improved and really improved and came on strong this year. 
Now in the Sparta tournament last week, got off to a great start in pool play. Then there was a two-hour break and lost a little bit of energy there and then struggled a little bit against Ash Grove and played Forsyth for what feels like the 15th time this year. Absolutely. And uh, now dealing with the team who has won their fair share of SCA Conference Championships. I think they had a streak of winning six out of seven years yes, being sir. SCA champions. They come in with a record and the serve is underway. They are 19 and eight. Their only conference loss also to Kabul. It's on the Liberty side right now and a hit over and a good dig there by Downs. Dobbs will set Fawcett, good hit. It's over here nice at the court. Nice dig table. by the libero for Liberty. Liberty keeps it alive there. Good job of hustling and rallying to the ball. And Lauren Hall nice. the hit and it's down. A little decoy there. Looked like Fawcett was going to come smash it. And then it goes to the lefty Hall on that left side. You know, we've talked about it week after week that we've never seen her at home. When she's hitting from that left side of the court, Tyler, she's pretty hard to stop. Downs will go back to the serve line. And it's up and over. Liberty plays it back left. Set over here to the front nice. right side. Dig Great by dig by Nelson. Nelson. Right back down. You know, right there, playing big at the net, Tyler. That's what we did last week about at Kabul. That's what we've seen. That's what's kept these girls these games all year long. And they played really great at Kabul at the net, and that's why that game stayed close. The steal one of your lines, Chris. That girl from Liberty brought the smoke. Oh, Sydney she Nelson smoked the ball. It right yes, there. yes, she did, and we needed that. Here's Downs. She'll play it across. Save a leading 2-0 here in the first set. That's and that's out and a great start for the Ava girls. You know, it's good to see him coming out this this far. I was a little bit worried, Tyler. You know, it was kind of a little bit of a letdown when they didn't get past Kabul and then played a little bit sloppy that second half, as you said, at Sparta. But they're coming out with some fire here against Liberty. Absolutely. And at home is where the Lady Bears have played their best this year as that one drops in for Liberty's first point. But the Ava Lady Bears have defended the home court. We've not been home in a while, first of October. It's been a while since you and I have been here. It's been about three weeks. Score at three to one right now. And Downs fields the serve. Lauren Hall will tip it over. And Liberty nice. will miscommunication and a point for the girls. And Haley Herrera will sub in for Snelson. And Lauren Hall goes back to serve. Ava leading 4-1. It was a nice tip there by Hall. She caught the defender from Liberty moving towards the center of the court was able to play it off her outside arm. Hall was served in the middle of the court up with Liberty. That was a great placement on the serve. It's up in the air. We got time to get to it. Can play it off the goal or can we not? And that will Replay. be. Replay. We're kind of getting the... Uh, we're getting the uh, scoop here from Sarah. She said if it's Sarah Roy, our rules correspondent for volleyball season. Here's the nice. hit into the net, and Ava will pick up the other point. So I have learned over the course of the year the two thumbs up means let's do it again. Yeah, and then we lean over there to Sarah, and we're like, why is that like that? <laughs> she keeps us filled in. Nice serve by Hall. Yes, Lawrence had some good low line drives right over the top of the net. Dobbs will set Hartford and Olivia. A little bit of a deflection there at the net. Now Ernst and hits it over. Liberty will set it back and hits it across. Lauren Hall to dig. Dobbs tries to nice, set it to the spot. Nice. Picked a good one. Another point for Ava. You know, she, she tipped that ball over this right. Hey, we got a Liberty early timeout. 6-1 here, Tyler. 6-1 to score. Ava leads. Hi, folks. Jay Loveland here, and it's been a while since we've been able to talk. But I wanted to tell you about our new adventure. Are you ready for this? It's pretty original. Jay Loveland Auto Sales. Yes, we've opened a pre-owned car lot next to Burger King and Walmart. Good quality pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs at great prices. Check out our inventory at jlovelandautosales.com or call 349-4444 or just stop by and say hi. Located in Mountain Grove. We hit the highways a lot during the sports season. Traveling to ball game after ball game, home and away. And the best one-stop shop for fuel food and convenience store needs is Signal Food Stores. And if you don't have one already, you've got to get the Signal Rewards Card. Start earning rewards for the purchases you make all the time anyway. And it's easy and free. These points are automatically converted into Signal Cash each night and you can check your balance online. Signal Food Stores, your one-stop shop for when you're on the go. Lord Hall, 
the southpaw. Keeps serving him up good here. In her turn at the back serve line, Haley Herrera hits it over. The libero for Liberty making a nice play. Nice and Lauren tried ball. to dive to get to that one, but just a pretty good spike. Yeah, our front row got a little late on the transition there to the set. I mean, these girls up front, uh, you're going to have to get over there and get to the sides quicker and get order to set up the block. That's what changes this whole tempo of these games. Turns out the team had been aware they were getting close to setting the all-time season record for Ava Volleyball. And Coach Petty told them before the game, beat my record. Absolutely. I'm sure as a coach, up. she would love nothing more than for these girls to do it. And Liberty now, after the timeout, getting a couple of points, making it 6-3. to three. Uh, If you notice, they've been, they're playing big at the net right now, Tyler. They've got a couple of blocks, and the momentum has swung their way. So we definitely need the uh, pendulum to turn here. This is Aspen Sutherman who did the serving for Liberty. Dobbs passes it up, earns the set. Herford, nice, her first nice time. Kill. Hey, she got on top of the ball. You know what? The other day, the other night at Kabul, that was one of the biggest things I'd seen out of Olivia. She seemed to get on top of the ball a lot better, and she's been hitting them straight down. And that, that's where that one went, was straight down on the left side. She has been the team leader, one of them this year, here for the Ava Lady Bears. That one looks out, and it is. Ava will take another point and push the lead back up to five, eight to three, and Ernst. Try to keep it rolling here. Sends it back right. Liberty sets it up in the net. Left-handed ah. hit and a good one. And Kennedy Cooley of Liberty displaying some jumps. And a hard left-handed spike. This is Kelston Roy. The back serve line. Dobbs the pass, and Herford will just pass it across this time. Liberty set towards the nice top of the net. Herford. Nice, nice dig there by Dobbs to send it back over. Nice Three block clicks. by Herford. Herford. That's what changes the game. We start getting the block, Tyler. Herford's nicked a couple of them here. She's blocked, but passes it right back up. Haley Herrera Ooh. and into the net. And it'll be 8-5 now. Two teams, you look at the schedule and the record, who the, who's played who, very, very evenly matched coming oh, into this game. It is, you know, and to, and to watch it, uh, you know, and size-wise, I think we match up well with them as well, you know. I mean, there's been some games we came into Kabul, and they had a lot of big hitters, and I think we match up well with Liberty here. That one passed out. And to my knowledge, been a long, long time since we've beaten Liberty in volleyball. Absolutely. There from 2011 through basically last year, just a dominant SCA conference run Liberty girls have enjoyed on volleyball. 8-6 is where we're at. Nice block. Uh, Herrera and Herford comboing for that one. And now Claire Fawcett will check in. Haven't seen a whole lot of Fawcett early in this game because of the rotation set up. We, she's got to play big at the net. Her and Herrera have got to came up, come up big at the net. That, that sets the tempos for the games, and, and that's what's going to help us control us. And as we speak about the tip by Liberty there. Uh, but you know the thing about it is, if, we're, if we got him tipping Tyler, I'd take that over him hitting any day. Behind that wall of Herrera and Fawcett there, they just got it up and over. And Herford comes out, Downs comes in. Ernst with the dig. We set up Fawcett. Boy, she can <laughs> jump. But a little too much heat on that. And it's out. We got a one-point game. Closest Liberty has been since it was 1-0 early on. Well, every week we talk about it that we have these games. We watch how the game of momentum goes. Always the momentum swings in volleyball. Right now, Liberty has a good job, good concentration. There by the girls getting it across. Dobbs set it up. Set out Boston. The job and the spike. That could be a momentum changer, Tyler. Add nice. some heat on it. Hotter than your chili on that Saturday. Was, that was that, yeah, and I, t I cut back on it a little bit. I knew you was going to be I, eating it, so I didn't want. I didn't want to get it too hot. Bless for you, but it was addictive. Good. Uh, thank you. You can make that for me anytime, Chris. Well, anytime. your wife, your wife hit me up, and I think we're going to have to do it and get together and eat some chili for lunch one day. <laughs> yes. Dobbs will set Hall, and oh, she hit the ball hard. Lawrence had a couple of good hits in this one. Oh, I'm oh, afraid it went in, and it did. 
one of those in-betweeners. You know, they say you're on that back row. If it's around your shoulders or above, let it go. She did, but that a 50-50 one that just happened to land on the line. Yeah, I did. I look like that had a little bit of spin on, a little downward spin to help her get down there too, Tyler. We will take that hit into the net on the serve any day. That was a nice free point there, and Dobbs will go back to the serve line. Ava leads 11-9. First set. Here in the final home game of the 2019 fall nice season. Serve. Ava has not lost at home this Ooh. year. Into the net, it was blocked. That's why that off the net. Four hits there, Tyler. Uh, yeah. As she hit that end of the net, it wasn't, it didn't, uh, Liberty didn't block it. I'm sitting there thinking it should be live. Yes. Just missed it. Nelson. Digs it high up in the air. Fawcett, she is blocked. We dive, we rally to it, and Downs will pin it across. Good job by Snelson there on the quick reaction. And Liberty into the net. That kind of hustle and effort right there allows Ava to keep that point and the lead at 12 10. Now, the games I've watched this year, Ty, that's one of the biggest things I've seen has been their hustle. They've stayed after it the whole entire time. You know, they dug a, dig a lot of balls, and that's what's kept them in some of their ball games. Downs will pass it across. Liberty at the net, tipped over. Nelson hits it high in the air to Hall and almost maybe too high of a set. Yeah, her, time, her timing was off on that uh, pretty bad when she hit that end of the net. You know, once again, we got Liberty tipping the ball over. You know, they didn't smash. They're trying to tip over, over Herford. And there was a little bit of a little breakdown for the back row there. And Hall. 12-12, we're tied up, and Coach Petty wants a timeout to talk to it. Liberty has brought it to even here in the first set, 12-12, our score. For all your roofing and guttering needs, it's Rick's Roofing, LLC, 683-8081. We understand that you need a good job done in a timely manner and the best bang for your buck. It's Ricky Jones and the crew at Rick's Roofing, and also doing excavating work, dozing, backhoe, skidster work, septic, brush clearing, mulching, pretty much anything, give Ricky and the crew a call. 683-8081 for Rick's Roofing, LLC. You want your kid to succeed as an Ava Bear athlete. Well, the best way to start is with unconditional love and support for your kids. Framework empowering your children with safe boundaries and expressing clear expectations just like the coaches. And you start it when they're young. A message from Douglas County Chart and the Interagency Council. Well, Chris, the combination of some well-struck spikes by Liberty and some well-placed tips as Lady Bears kind of scrambling defensively here, not able to be aggressive. Yeah, we're definitely back on our heels. We're not we're not playing our volleyball right now. We're playing theirs. Oh, our first nice look at the long Harper. reach. You know, I look over at our student section, I see what we're missing. We're going to have to get Blake King up and around. Usually he's our spirit leader over there. He's got his hand on his chin. He's sitting there like he's lost his puppy dog. So I can't figure out what's wrong with Blake. Blake must have had a rough practice today at the football yard. Something's going he's on. Not as usual, excited himself. No. Here Dobbs to Herford. We pass it across. Ava leading 13 to 12. Hard hit, and that one is in. And Liberty will get another point. And that one done by Amber Collins, the senior for the Lady Eagles. They did a good job disguising that boy, too. A couple of uh, Herford was headed to the left side of the court, and the pass ended up coming to the right for the, for the spike. So, a little misdirection. And that's the second time in this game we've had some miscommunication along the back row. And need to get that one figured out. You hear Coach Tracy giving some instructions. And it's the first lead for Liberty here in set one. Lauren Hall the dig. We set up Ernst. It's nicked. Liberty keeps it alive. Set towards the front. The lefty All hits right. it, but out. Looked like a slider coming out of there, curving yes, towards the bleachers. She had a lot, she had a lot of English on that. 14-14, where we're at, Ernst, back of the serve line. And hits it high and over towards the back row. A pass, a set behind, and wow, Roy just placed it. 
in the perfect spot there right behind the front row. But, you know, they are. Liberty's doing a really good job of doing that, and our back rows haven't adjusted to it yet, but they're, they're just tipping it over the blockers there on the front row. And from that front right side with the right hand was able actually to hit it right. Catching our block. defense a little bit off guard there. Liberty up by one. Herrera nice. could hit and a point. And that herrera herford Fossa trio need to get them going with the ball striking close to the net. We do. They all three need to stay hot. You know, we haven't, uh, haven't seen that tonight where they've got the, all three of them have been hitting the ball well at the same time. And we've talked about this more than one occasion this year. Based on rotations, you don't get to see a whole lot of Herford, Herrera, and Fawcett out there at the same time. And there's another point for the Lady Bears. And Herford, as she's been all year, one of the most consistent servers and also allows you in this lineup and look to have some power there from the back row. Yeah, absolutely. She's, uh, she definitely has a very high percentage of putting the ball in play. And nice block. Nice block. There's what we've been talking about. I had Herrera and Fawcett on the left side of the floor. If they can continue to do that, we, you know, we win this game. Herrera's been a part of a couple blocks here in this one. Ava now back up by two. 17-15. Goes back middle. Liberty will set it up. And the net. Fawcett the block. She hits it up yeah. and gets the point. All right, here comes that momentum swing, Tyler. You know, we had a block. We had a block and then back up for us, and now we have a Liberty timeout. Coach seen it, seen it coming. Ava's got the momentum back, leading 18-15. When the wild calls, the Kubota RTV X1140 was built to answer. Proven diesel engine, heavy-duty suspension, and traction that grips like a mountain lion. It's all engineered around a roomy four-seat cab that converts into an extra-long cargo bed so you can prep for a trophy hunt and haul it home effortlessly. Find yours at your local Kubota dealer. Kubota, shape your world. It's in Harper Farm Equipment, Mountain Grove, 417-926-5454. Paul Wade and Associates. It's about accounting, bookkeeping, honesty, and experience. Paul Wade and Associates with decades worth of experience in accounting work, offices in Ava and in Gainesville for years. Paul Wade and Associates, our Gainesville number, 679-2299, 679-2299, and of course, in Ava, Paul. Well, Fawcett there with some great time jumps. Boy, she, as soon as she hits the ground, she jumps back up. Where'd she get that from? I, I don't know. We've been trying to figure it out here, and I don't know if it's uh, Kirby or Tara. So, uh, but Kirby has been in there and been chased by a lot of bulls, but he's also been chased by Tara, too. So I don't know which one's the fastest. <laughs> It only can improve the reflexes when you're in there with bulls. Absolutely. Here is the hit from Liberty. Downs from the back row plays it. Earns the high pass over to Fawcett. And we just have to pass it across. 18-16, where we're at now. All hits it high up in the air. And Fawcett will have to run and just bump it across. Not able to get aggressive here on the last Good couple of hits. Hall. Need one here. Herrera will go. Nice. Oh. No oh, diving play by Smother of Liberty. Great job of playing that off the blocker. Lauren hits it back across from the back row. Hard hit. It goes to Herrera. Lauren dives. Oh, wow. man. That took the wind out of me. Lauren Hall hits belly first there on the floor. Full extension dive right in front of the student section of the bleachers. That made, that made me hurt, Tyler. Oof. At 32, I can't take a fall like that. Yeah, at 30, I can't take one either. Herrera hits <laughs> it back over. And a hit. Lauren will tip it. Well, they got lucky there. And right now, a little bit out of sorts. Liberty has scored the last two, looking to tie it up. Dobbs to Herrera. It's blocked, goes right back to Herrera. Dobbs has to pass it behind her just to get a deposit. Who gets it over? Liberty hard Ooh, hit. Great, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. We get the point. That's out. That is Ooh. out. Well, I thought we had to tip there on the front row for a minute, and that's what made me nervous. You can say every sport is a game of inches. Right there, we literally, just by an inch, I think, get the point. That's the difference between an 18-18 tie and a 19-17 win. Big point. Every nice. one of them picked uh, out this stage of the first set. You want to take this first one. Nice. These two teams. Nice. She tried point. to dink. She tried to dink the back set there. Uh, number 10 for Liberty, and she she tipped it right into the net. That's 
Shumpert. Lexi Shumpert. Here is Nelson. Glad you tried to pronounce that instead of me. Well, I've seen that you didn't jump in there to help me, so you must have already seen that <laughs> name before. I already done said I'm giving that one up tonight. Here's a Oh, no. Nice. We got you. Here's a net. And a point. Liberty into the net there, and it's 21-17. Glad you're with us on Cause Radio. You're also watching this action here on Senior Night, tdhmedia.net. They'll also have the streaming and the state playoff softball game tomorrow, and that one, clock it on the radar gun. She hit that mad, Tyler. She Ooh. hit that mad. I don't know which one was that. Was that 23? I don't know which one of them girls hit that, but she hit it mad. In my day, we called that a ferocious. That was right. Back in the super fan era. Fawcett oh. was tipped. Oh. And, oh, man, we had two girls diving for it. The effort was there. The execution not. Hey, you got a sub coming in here. 21-19. And we've seen Coach Petty go to Wallace before in moments where we're having struggle with our passing. And Wallace about to come in right now. This would be... Alyssa Wallace. Alyssa, yes. Always got to look at the roster sheet Good when you see the Wallace twins. She played really well in the JV game, Tyler. Um, you had some big hits at crucial times to, to keep us close there. Liberty JV, by the way, didn't uh -oh. do nothing. Oh, not a good dig. And Liberty capitalizes on it. And it's now 21-20. And you know the nerves on both sides shaking right now. Tyler's getting some more pointers here from Sarah. we got Liberty with the surf into the net. We'll take that all day. Lila Kornman, Sarah pointing out, that was the girl who rattled off about 10 points in a row the second game of the JV contest. Ah. Had some float serves. New term there. Yeah. Kind of like a knuckleball. Floaters. <laughs> 22-20. Hey, I will take every bit of terminology I can get. My volleyball dictionary grows by the week. Dobbs the serve. Nice, well, Liberty sir. plays it. That one would have nice. been close, and they go into the net. 23-20. Big, big point there. And two points away from taking the first set. Dobbs, Boy, this would back be serving. huge, Tyler. Huge to win this first set in our home floor. Big for the momentum. Dobbs sets one across. Liberty, the tip over. Ernst. Dobbs will feed back Ernst. Nice. Play nice on the tip. tip. High IQ volleyball play there. She's seen two blockers attacking the net. Little Absolutely. soft hip touch right over. Perfectly placed there. As soon as she hit it, we've seen it happening, too. We knew it was going right to the empty spot. 24-20. And Dobbs finishes off here. We got set point. Oh, oh, nice. That Woo. was close. Didn't know if it was a double hit or not. I, I was beginning to wonder. Dobbs over to Fawcett. Fawcett free balls it over. Set back to Liberty. Nick Tip down, dives. Dobbs gets to it. And Lauren passes across. It's close. It's in. Game over. The first set. <laughs> wow. That was huge, Tyler. Huge. Come out here and put it to Liberty in the first set. Ava takes the first one, 25-20. You deserve more than a cookie-cutter mortgage. Whether you're looking for your first home or your dream home, the best place to start is Town & Country Bank. Our lenders are here to listen to your needs and help you construct the mortgage that fits you and your new home. We'll be there when you're ready to make your move. Let us build your mortgage solution today. Stop by your local Town & Country Bank or visit us online at tcbanks.com. Equal housing lender, member FDIC, smart mortgage solutions. Saying goodbye to a loved one, you want it to be special, wrapped in care and provide comfort to those who remain. I'm Tony Clinking Bear Van Dyne, and at Clinking Bear Funeral Home, we've been helping those we know and love say goodbye with honor and dignity for over 100 years. We are here to serve you and your family. Lehman Dozing, owner and operator Velber Lehman, offering services and land clearing, fence rows, ponds, 
brush, and more. Call or text 417-543-0348. If you've got a job for Velber, that's 417-543-0348. Or reach them by email at velberlehman at yahoo.com. Lehman Dozing, proud to be a sponsor of Ava Lady Bear Softball and the Fall Coaches Show. From your late model ride to your classic fixer-upper where your auto box specialists and bumper to bumper. Bumper to Bumper Auto Parts, your local hometown auto parts store. We have batteries, the motor oil, all types of parts and accessories. We carry it at Bumper to Bumper and we deliver locally free. From your late model ride to your classic picture up where your auto parts specialist and Bumper to Bumper. Bumper to Bumper. In the world of home improvement and hardware supplies, when you know what you're looking for and even when sometimes you don't. The place where we stop to shop is Ava Building Supply, Mansfield Home Centers. And they offer special services like glass cutting, keys, paint color matching, equipment rental, screen repair, and much more. And if there's something you're looking for that we don't have in the store, we can probably get it for you. Open six days a week. It's Ava Building Supply, Mansfield Home Centers, where we stop to shop. When we say no one does sports, oh yes, I'm, I'm the newsman right now. 5.30? Yeah, real news on Cos Radio, and yeah, I'm the one doing it right now. We, Joe, if you're listening in Georgia, I miss you, and I can't wait for you to get back. But I hope you're enjoying yourself, you and Vicki, in your time away. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've been I'm singing to people at 5:40 this morning just to help keep myself awake on uh, the drive into town. When we say no one does sports like Cos Radio nights like tonight, and we got state playoff softball tomorrow, Chris. Absolutely. Against Sherwood, we'll get on the air at 4:45, and first pitch coming at 5 o'clock. Now remember, there will be a charge tomorrow. That's a Misha thing, not a Nava thing. That's correct. Like seven bucks gets you in, but uh, I'm very glad it's here instead of driving all the way to Sherwood High School. You know where that is? Uh, it's up by Kansas City, I believe. Is it right not? there, about nine miles before Harrisonville yeah. on the right-hand side of the road there on 13 it's Highway. It's like the long trip to Fatima last year for baseball. Oh, uh, one of those a year I can do. Absolutely. The, the, the Hallsvilles, the Fatimas, you don't want to do those. No, sir. Uh, with a lot of frequency. Here we go, starting oh, set two. Wow. And Ava wow. feeling it right now, Chris. They closed off that first set, outscoring Liberty 8 to 2. Then here, start off 1 0. Well, they're coming out with the same fire and intensity that they came out with the first game, and that's good to see. Dobbs with the serve. Boy, that lefty there, wow. Liberty, but it goes too far. We will take this. It. That Kennedy Cooley. She's got some height to her and has a pretty nice spike there in the left-hand side. That one going too long. Little tip nice over. Block. Ava with a little bit of a block there. Hall getting some jumps that time along with Fawcett. Dobbs will pass it behind her. Fawcett sets it back. Ava leads 2-0 here in the second set. Nelson tip up in the air. Dobbs now the pass to Ernst. Blocked and a point for Liberty, and we have a side out. You know, one thing that was interesting during that volley, Tyler, is they never, you never seen Liberty hit the ball down hard one time. They were hitting over the top of our girls every time. Been a lot of those touch tips going on. Ernst right by the nice. desk, and nice job nice. by Dobbs just to keep the possible point alive. Boy, almost looked like a little bit of a lift there to me, kind of. A little, a little bit, I thought. Pick up and throw it. But Coach Petty was going to come out there and say something about it, but I think she was pointing at somebody on the one of the girls saying, you should have been there. 2-2, two -two, where we're at right now, and Fawcett takes her eyes off of it there. A missed hit, and Liberty with three points unanswered. By Liberty, it's in. Ernst plays it, and That's a high awesome. hit got to be out, and it is by about a half foot. Yeah, well, and we're tied up 3-3. Points well, coming here quick at the start. Yes, of the it's moving fast both sides. You know, 3-3. Liberty's not going to let us jump out there that 6-1 lead like we did the last game. Haven't really seen any long rallies yet. We haven't. And for two pretty good teams this year, it's kind of strange. Well, they're both finding those quick. spots, Tyler. They're both finding them open spots. Our 
Cheryl's at her hit, and her hitting the ball. Nice hit there by Herford. Good dig by Liberty's back row, and that one's out. Another long one. Ava now leads four to three. They've scored the last two. Downs back at the serve line. Hits it. Little low there. Good spot though. Woo! Liberty saying tip. Ava says no. We've got confusion. That's out. There is none. It's She's out. It's an Ava point. Peyton Bush could have sworn that Ava tipped it. It went Not right today. between Tish and Herford. And that was a tip by Herford. There we go. Set back Herford. Olivia tips nice. the net. Bush just sends it right back across. Set it here this side. Oh, nice. good quick reaction by Herford. Right spot, right time. Good quick reflexes. Earns the pass across. And now, after ask, I talked about it, we got a long rally going. Ask and you shall receive, Tyler. What a rally here. Nice. Oh, that's got to be too Hall. many hits. Lauren Hall, the little change up that time. Absolutely. She, both the defenders were going to their left, and she tips it back right. They just couldn't reach out there and keep it going. Six years ago, I called that an okie doke. Look where we've come with our volleyball <laughs> terminology. 6 3 the score. And it looks like a point for Liberty, and they'll take back the momentum. And Liberty passes the ball well from that back row, and they get it to the setter, and she has her time. And they're, they're, they're nice sets. They're hitting the open spots. Both teams are hitting the open spots. Lexi Shumpert back at the serve line. Pretty hard one, low just over the net. Her first nice. hard hit. Hard but a good hit. dig. It just hit it right at the Lady Eagle Roy. Go to her again. Back on the Ava side, Ernst now hits it back, middle, Liberty playing it, wow. good directional hit, but just too long, and Liberty here, I want to say about four of the seven points Ava has right now is on long hits. It was, you know, and that one there can be attributed to the girls up front blocking tower, because the angle she had when both uh, Ernst and Herford went up, she had nowhere to go with it, she's either going to have to play into the block or try and make that cut shot there, and it just didn't happen. And that's a great point. Boy, Chris, you think we'd be doing this for years there. We're about to get it figured out, Tyler. That lady nice there front line her. of defense, though, definitely kind of in the head of Liberty. Maybe why some of those are going long. Herford, little tip. Liberty plays it. Back on the Ava side. Hall hits it high up in the air. Dobbs will set Herrera. Set by Herrera. Hit it just right at the libero for Liberty. Off the net, up. Ava's got it. Ernst to Herford. Herford tries a little directional pass over the net. Hall the dig. Dobbs. Herrera. She's blocked. Hall right there, though, to get it back across. And Herford will just send it back over. Nice the net. Block Herford by her. blocks. Bush dives to pass it back over. And nice. Ernst! Faked everyone out there, made him think she was going to set it, and passed it to the empty spot on the that, Liberty side. That was a nice little cut shot there by Ernst. I thought she was going to set Herford in the middle of the floor, and then she just cut it right to the center. Everybody, I think, thought she was getting ready to do that. Now Liberty's really got to run and rally to the ball. Herford to Dobbs, goes over to Herrera, blocked at the net, over on the Avis side now. Herrera will hit one back again nice. for the libero. Good job by her smothering, having a dive, and the hit goes low. Another point for Ava, and it's 9-4. You know. Timeout on the floor. Ava in the lead here in the second set, 9-4. It's Jim's Body Shop, the name you know, the people you trust when it comes to auto body repair services or giving you a tow anytime, day or night. And who hasn't locked their keys in their car? I've used them to help me out there, too. 683-4609. That's 683-4609. For Jim's Body Shop. We're there when you need us, and we're proud to support Ava Athletics. MR Ranch LLC Trash Service. Serving Douglas County and surrounding counties. Services are 20 bucks a month. We accept cash, check, credit card, online, etc. Bags need to be 35 gallons or smaller and a five bag limit per week. To get on a route or to check service, please call 417-683-3057. That's 683-3057 for MR Ranch LLC Trash Service. Give us a call so we can haul. Four out of the timeout, and right now have Liberty trying to stop the Ava momentum. You know, every time Hall, 
every time Liberty's called the timeout, they've came out pretty hot and it's, and it's worked, so we'll see if it's going to work again. I think this judge is doing her best to completely obstruct steroids <laughs> the entire time. On the Liberty side, hit. I think it's out. It is. Liberty has not hit their spots as no. much as what you've come to suspect historically from this team. To me, it looks like they're, 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 they're worried about hitting. To me, it looks like they're trying to hit around the blocks instead of playing off the blocks. If you notice every time that they're missing, you know, we've got two of our girls up in that getting big and tall, and they're trying to go around them instead of just playing off that right or left side of the block. Lauren Hall is in a group right now on the back serve line. We lead 11 to 4, and they found an empty spot on the floor. Sometimes when you're serving, you can be a little late getting to that zone and happen to us there. You know, that's three or four times Peyton Bush there for Liberty has done a great job of finding the open spot on the floor. Uh, looks like she's a junior for Liberty. Liberty hasn't done a whole lot of subbing in this game. Shelby Acklin, if the name Acklin sounds familiar when it comes to Mountain View, it certainly should. Absolutely. They've had two Acklins on SportsCenter this year from amazing catches, one of them in the Canadian Football League, the other just last weekend from Evangel. 11-5, and her Oh, first. she got on top of the ball. There's the hit. Ava's got a rally oh. to it. Lauren Hall keeps it alive, and Herford nice gets it over. By Hall. Fighting for the point, oh. and there Bush gets it for Liberty, and it's 11-6. Yeah, there was a lot of hustle there. Hall, I didn't even think she stood a chance getting to that ball, and she got there and got it back up in the middle of the floor for Herford to send it back over. From what I understand, this is a first cousin of that set of Acklins that we come to know in football. Liberty with the hit. Boy, that was a good directional yeah, hit there absolutely. from Mountain View. Goes to Earn, oh. and I think it's out. Missed Earth's it by about long. a foot, and it's 11-7. to seven, Three points in a row for Liberty. After Ava led by their largest lead of the night there at 11-4. Dobbs sets it over. Tried to catch Liberty out of place. Acklin will hit it up. Ernst to Dobbs. Back to Ernst, oh, floats yeah. it over, and it's a point. Same spot as while we go, Tyler. She's finding that, and she's just doing that little cut shot to the center of the court. She's, she's catching them open and sleeping in the middle. And you want to keep that lead at minimum around that 4-5 spot, especially Jeez. when the team is good as what Liberty has been over the years. Had 19 wins coming into it, and, man, that running jump hit from Caitlin King very difficult to get up and block that. Well, and she done what, what these Liberty girls need to be doing. She played off the block of Herrera. She hit the outside hand, or the, actually to the inside hand, and played right off of Herrera's block. To Ernst the dig. Dobbs will set it to her. Nice. Wow. Nice. Did a little fancy stuff with our movement there because Herford came from a spot I did not expect her to to smash that one over. She came around from the backside and got on top of the ball very well. Probably had a great view of that there on TDHmedia.net. Tyson up there, and he'll be working tomorrow as well. And Football Friday. Busy week Ow. for the media here in Ava, Missouri. And another one too long. We'll take all those we can get. Absolutely. You know, they have Liberty has, has really, really missed their spots tonight. But, I, you know, I, I don't think that needs to be attributed to Liberty players. I think that needs to be attributed to our front row. Got Herrera and Fawcett there in the front row playing big. I think the word after you played six conference game, words out, that Davis got some girls that can block anybody Absolutely. up there at the net. Herrera hits it over. Got all three of our blockers on the floor right now, and that one boy looked out, but back judge says in. Coach Petty there agreed. She pointed that that, that was in, and... and uh, can be a lonely spot on the floor if you're holding that in or out flag. <laughs> Absolutely. I wouldn't want to be doing that, Tyler. No, I would not want that kind of pressure. <laughs> Whoa. A spike and a point there for Liberty, that. so they've got it back within four. That was that Lex Shumpert, if I'm saying that correctly. She's very tall. Uh, they got her listed at 5'9", and she really gets on top of the ball when she gets a close set. 
Collins is serving for Liberty. Another point by Liberty. I would anticipate a timeout. Set over the far side, and it's in, and it's now 14 to 11. And Coach Petty talking to the back row. Looks like she just kind of said to herself, one more. So one more point, we will see a timeout. And right down there in the middle, and timeout right on cue. Right on cue, Mr. Tyler. Liberty's fighting back. It's 14 to 12, they believe in the second. You've waited all year. You have your rifle and bow sighted in, and you're ready to go. You bought everything you need, and you're ready to go to camp, chase that trophy buck. But did you fill a propane tank at your camp? Did you fill it at your house? Nothing ends a deer hunt quicker than being cold at camp or having an angry wife call him saying she's out of gas. Don't wait. Call MS Propane today, 417-254-8083 or 417-683-5300. We'll get you taken care of. You don't want to end a hunt before it begins. Good luck this season. MS Propane, heating the way. Whether it's personal injury, car accidents, criminal defense, and no matter if the case is large or small, Christopher J. Swadish, attorney at law, would be honored to represent you. You can visit with the AVA office, 200 East Washington, or you can call 683-2987, or even visit the website, www.swadish.com. And from all of us at the law offices of Christopher J. Swadish, we want to wish good luck to the Ava Bears. And we bragged a lot about our front row and the blocking, but Sarah bringing up a good point. Our blockers right now need to get those hands more forward, kind of holding them back a little bit. Some absolutely. of those are getting over now. Yes, absolutely. Herrera, the hit over. We really need a point here to stop the Liberty momentum. Oh. This point here is pretty critical. Fawcett meets at the net, loses that battle, but it's still alive and in play on the Liberty side. Hard nice hit, there's block. the block, there we and go. they're right on cue. Sarah says they need to get those hands a little forward. You can see at that time, Tyler, both Herrera and Fawcett had their hands forward, and it tipped it right back down at the center of the court. You literally could see the technique on that one, and it pays dividends. 15 to 12, Sidney Snelson, one of the seniors who were honored before the game. Hope you were here. Nice block on that one again. There we go. We diagnose it. We figure it out. And boss it. <laughs> Does it again. I'm just going to see how many times I can get Sarah to giggle or eye roll this evening. There we go again. Here's the setup. Woo! Whoa, Nelson. What was ready that? for the spicy chili that time? No, absolutely not. Was that number five? Was that the Kenna Woolsey? That, that was Roy. She yeah. brought it. She brought it. Kelston Roy of Liberty. Any relation to the Ava Roy, Sarah? <laughs> not that we're aware of. That would be interesting. <laughs> the blonde hair immediately cancels that possibility out. <laughs> all into the net. And all jokes aside here, getting a little too close for comfort. Wow, I like it when we stay at that four and five point uh, differential there, Tyler. We're down to two now. Smothering back at the third oh, line. Oh. Nelson up in the air, down over to Ernst, and we keep it alive. Ooh. That's all you can ask for there. That looked like a throw down to he me. Caught that. That kind of looks like a palm and throw it down on the ground. 16-15, it's a one-point game. Oh, I absolutely think she got away with one there on the front row, Tyler. That's the second time, I believe, tonight I've seen Shumper do that. One-point game. We need a point. It's hit long. Oh, and I think that might have went out, and we're tied up at 16. Here we are. That's It's fingernail biting time. Dobbs had a little trouble with the wrist tape. She says, I'm throwing it off. Momentum shift here. We really need to get this serve broke, Tyler. Dobbs will pass over to Fawcett wow. and not able to jump up and really get into that one. Shumpert tips it over. Dobbs will pass it. Lauren Hall from the left side wow. found the spot. Way to go, Lauren. Wow, that was a huge hit. That left-hand cut shot was just right down the left line to that to the far left corner. 
and uh, couldn't have been placed any better. Found the right spot. Shades of her dad, Tim, in 2012 Benefit Volleyball Tournaments. <laughs> you remember that life, don't you? Oh, yeah. Here it That's is. Lauren, and now oh, back to back, hit. Lauren Hall. She's hot. They need to keep feeding her, Tyler. They yeah, just need to keep it to her. We talk about the momentum every single game, every single set. And right now, if you're feeling good like that, jumping up like Lauren is, keep feeding her. 18-16. The score, Nelson to Dobbs and Fawcett. We had both we'll of them going across. up. Nelson will Still set it up. Dobbs Ernst. back over to Ernst. Liberty dives to keep it alive. Hard hit off the net. Ava plays it. Dobbs sets it across. Oh, tried to keep had it down. down. Almost works. Nelson, good job going down for the dig. Fawcett runs. She's blocked. Ernst, outstanding. Quick oh, reflex. Wow. Dobbs sends that to the back row. Gives them time to reset. Dobbs over to Ernst. Ernst. We got a lengthy rally here. Big, big point in the game. Partially blocked. Ava keeps it alive. Pass behind her. Fawcett nice. running hit. Still a two-point game in this long valley. And oh. we falter there along the back row. And it's a one-point game. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I look over and sometimes those sets come in. And Ernst looks like she's so out of position. Her body's twisting to where she can't hit it. And she always seems to get that ball over the net somehow. To be young and have that flexibility again. Absolutely. If I move like that, I wouldn't get out of bed for a week or two. Nice. Hot there hit. we go. Liberty's back row tries to set it to the front and right to Fawcett, who knocked it straight down. We're 19-17 now, Tyler. And that's Herbert. probably the tenth time Fawcett and Bush have found themselves in that battle, and they've each won their fair share. Fawcett that time the victor. Absolutely. There, Bush, and she just finds she the open spot on the floor. Has phenomenal court vision, Bush does. She finds that open spot every single time. It's like she can just see the entire floor on the other side and knows where the open spot on the floor is. Hall with the dig. Dobbs will set Hall. Lauren was hot there for a minute. I haven't got a chance to get her back set up. Dobbs. Different side of the floor, different side of the floor, Tyler. She never, she always hits better from that left side. Nelson sets it up, set it for Herford. Olivia nice. back in and a point. Yes, absolutely. 20 to 18. That was a huge play right there. She caught the back row player, up, player playing up, hit it right at her head. Now Herrera back in as well. So some of those blocking reinforcements back in now. Herford subbed in the last point. Now Herrera. Lauren Hall, the lefty. She's been serving great tonight. Puts it over on that side. Bush, she's partially blocked. Ava will send it over. Shumpert sets the lefty of Liberty. Lauren Hall, she's having a great game. Herford, a high arching pass over on the Liberty side. Bush tries to ball. throw it down. Herford, the spike. Liberty, the dig. Good volley here. Got to be long. It's out. Ava up three. Yeah, you know, I know I've set up. And here's the timeout by Levitt or Tyler. 21-18. Ava trying to win in two. Century Bank of the Ozarks is your hometown community bank with full service locations in Gainesville, Ava, Theodosia, and Bakersfield. We offer a full line of personal checking and saving account options as well as a variety of corporate and business banking solutions. Our experienced lenders at Century Bank of the Ozarks specialize in residential, consumer, commercial, and agricultural lending. Since 1890, Century Bank of the Ozarks has maintained its reputation of friendly service and quick local decision making. Stop in and let our friendly staff introduce you to our banking products. Century Bank of the Ozarks, member FDIC, equal housing lender. 21 to 18, Sheriff Chris DeGase, and this game tonight, both sets so far, who knows, we might have a third, but it's kind of lived up to the billing of what we thought of how close and intense this would be. Absolutely, I think when you look at it on paper with the only loss to these two teams, but Kabul, both teams played Kabul very close, I mean, you could say that this year's first place could have went to any one of these three teams. Winner of this game guarantees themselves second in the conference, could potentially get a tie if Kabul loses their last conference game. Right. Well, that wouldn't that be something that would be a help? And there, boy, looks like it again. 
That's but Liberty gets the point, 21-19. Peyton Bush, once again, I mean, we need to get her rotated and get her off that front row and get her to the back row because she's hurt us. She's been the one player for Liberty tonight that's hurt us every time she's been up there. A middle hitter, a junior for the Lady Eagles, and she's been the bright spot for them. Looks out, and it is Downs and Hall there on the back row. Some good talking going on from the Ava bench as well, and it's 22-19. Taylor Ernst, service home. That would be the nice. Senior back defense, on the though. serve line. You calling it, Tyler? You got to call your call, Matt. That she's going to get three in a row. That's what I'm hoping. Hard hit. Nice. It goes right to Ernst. That hurt my wrist. Good job. Oh, good job by Herford to get that over. The set was awfully close. Here we go. We set a and a nice. and a point. Absolutely. Two more. Absolutely a huge hit. Two more. Two blockers in front of her, and she's done what she was supposed to do and played off the outside arm. Ernst, yeah. <laughs> the hit. Pass up over the side and just found nice. the empty spot on the floor. Both that these teams have done some great directional hitting. They have, they have. And, and uh, that was a good point Sarah made there. She said she used to couldn't hit from the 10-foot line and look at her hit now. If you can take a positive, it's the bushes away from the front of the net because she has to serve. Liberty hit a hard Hall keeps it up in the air, and Downs can't pass it behind, and it's 23-21. Head coach Toon of Liberty trying to pepper team up. We need the momentum change here. We need the swing really big. Bush, a high floater, goes back to Downs. We set up Herrera. Herrera, it's down on the Ava side. Yes. One more point. Take a deep breath. Can't even talk, Tyler. I didn't know where that one was going to go. I couldn't tell that happened so fast if that came down on our side or their side. Olivia. Is she going to bring it home? Olivia Herford. Take us home. Country oh, road. She, Great serve. Oh Died by the libero. Keep yeah. it. And the Ava Lady Bears have made history, ladies wow. and gentlemen. The first 20-win team in a regular season in Ava Volleyball uh, history. Can you absolutely. believe it? Absolutely. Good job, girls. Good job. And, to, and for a senior to be able to bring us home, that made it even all that much better. Don't go anywhere. We will talk to Coach Petty. We have to after this one. Ava finishes out their regular season home plate on fire.